Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dems here um, with another video for you guys. Today is a very special day. Today is the day that we post our 155th video on our channel. Round of applause, guys. Thank you so much for the overwhelming love, support, encouragement that this community has been giving myself and that. So we really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, cheers to another 155th video, all right? Let's continue growing this community. If you are a newbie here, guys, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Thank you so much for clicking on this, your first video with the Andersons. And of course, all returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. We really and truly appreciate you guys. There's not enough words that we can say to, you know, make you guys know how we really and truly feel about you all. Of course, smash that like button, leave a comment, it really helps us out. And I hope I'm not being too demanding by asking, but yeah, hit on that little share button as well so other persons can see these and information as well, all right? Greatly appreciated. Now, enough of that intro. I'll be talking about today, guys. I will be sharing my experience in being a delivery guy in Canada. Many, guys, many of you guys didn't know that, but yes, throughout the summer when I could work full-time and throughout the winter when I could work full-time, um because i was employed part-time at the bank of course all the bank thing was really like uh it's not a case where you can just get additional hours you are actually employed to do a job so i was employed as a part-time till at the time so i couldn't just randomly get additional hours even though i could have worked full-time throughout the summer and the winter so i had to get other form of income and one such income guys is i had to work as a pizza delivery guy and I did that for the two years that I was in um, that I was in college, that I was an international student, right? I did it throughout the summer and I did it throughout the winter. Now, what was my experience in doing that, guys? Um, let me just begin by saying this is not something that I have ever done before. And neither did I thought that I would have ever had to do anything like this. But you know what, guys? You come to a new country, you have to just do what you have to do to survive. And that's what I learned. And you know what, guys? Ultimately, it has taught me so much and I really appreciate the fact that I had, yeah, venture into the fast food um, industry a little bit, doubled in it a little bit and now I can share this awesome story time with you guys so that you guys can have an idea of what I went through. Now, I was super nervous um, when I just started because one, I didn't know the city that well. So um, being a delivery guy, knowing the city is like key because like the more delivery you do is the more money you make because you get paid based on tip pretty much you get paid based on tip so the more delivery equal the more tip you know vice versa you the other so um at first i was really slow i was really really slow right i had to be using like my phone gps moving around the city and stuff like that but gradually i became an expert so yeah you're also looking at a professional delivery guy there you go, but I didn't know that, right? So, um, it also allowed me to see what persons in my community is like. And outside of like persons smiling with you and stuff like that, like you're delivering food to people door and stuff like that, so you get to interact with them and all of that stuff. So, um, my first impression was, them people are mean, eh, man? Guys, I'm telling you guys that sometimes, like, it is horrible driving up and down in the snow going to some people yard climbing in mountains of snow with pizza box in your hand and all of them stuff there and when you're done and then pay you're not get one dollar tip guys oh my gosh like that was like those are some of the most like oh my god like i'm like we just want to cost them i'm like yo you see what me just got you and then you guys that even have the audacity for tip oh gosh but anyways, I gradually started realizing that, you know what? Use my customer service skills that I have developed over the years, put it into the delivery thing, and then I realized that I get more tip. So then, of course, I was more like professional. I, I tried start to dress more professional. Of course, you have, I'm not going to be calling the company that I worked with, what is a very popular um, pizza joint, not just in Canada, but in worldwide, as I int. So, um... I had um, the shirt, I had the, the uniform pretty much, I just tried to dress as professional as possible. And then when I go to the door of these um, customers, I just try to be like, hi, good night, how are you doing today? How was your day? Did you have a good day today? You know, just chit chat, um, what, and just stuff like that. Like, yeah, enjoy your meal, you know, have a great night. Are you guys having a party? Stuff like that. 
And then I realized that, you know what, those things really made a difference, guys. And you know what, I started getting a lot of tips. And those tips were so helpful, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. You know that coming up with second year school fee is not easy. So those tips were like instrumental in funding like my second year and all of them stuff in terms of like how to just hustle, right? Um, in doing that, guys, like in addition to doing that, I w I had to do some stuff that I didn't thought that I had to do. Like with the, with the company that I was employed to, to uh, deliver, at first I thought I was just a deliver guy, which just grab and go. But apparently the company doesn't do things like that. So the deliver guy had to also be the pizza chef, had to also be the cashier, had to also be the dishwasher, had to also be like the janitor. So I had to be like, um, you know, cleaning out the store, sweeping out, wiping out. If I was on closing duty, we had to make sure that the bathroom is clean. We had to make sure that stuff like that. And um, we had to be folding pizza boxes. We have to be like, guys, I'm telling you, it was like an experience. And I say that and I want to share this because like many persons would be thinking that um, coming like, for example, for me, um, I was pretty qualified um, coming to Canada in terms of a lot of like professional work experience and bearing in mind that whilst I was like doing all of those stuff, cleaning bathroom and sweeping out the floor and stuff like that, I still was employed to the bank. So um, many persons would be like, oh, I'm not do them stuff there, I'm not do that, but the point of the matter is guys you can't really look at things that way you have to be open and you have to be willing to just do anything to survive until you get to where you want to get to and i remember um washing so many dishes that my hands were like legit starting to like what you call it watermark like you can see the witherness in like my hands and stuff and i remember telling us that boy babes and i I don't know how long I can do this and she's like just do it a little longer just do it a little longer as soon as I finish school I don't have to do it anymore just do it a little longer just do it a little longer and I, that's what kept me through and I kept pushing I kept pushing I kept pushing and you know what well some of the most um uncomfortable days not uncomfortable days but days that I can I can say that we really made a lot of sacrifice it's days that nuts was at work and how it was that those shifts, those shifts, I usually get shifts like in the night. Like my, my delivery shifts usually start like probably at five and then um, it would go probably to nine or 10 o'clock. Unless somebody um, call in and, and like they ask me to cover them shift and like the store usually close two o'clock in the morning. So sometimes I had to like go there like five o'clock in the evening, work straight to two o'clock and then still um, go back to work at eight o'clock in the morning um, at the time. You understand while school was out and stuff like that and it was really it was really 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 tiring and yeah it was really really tiring and what i want to say is like sometimes the shifts overlapped with nuts work schedule so say for example i have a shift that starts five o'clock and then nuts leave work seven o'clock i had to take malika with me have malika in her car seat out there in the cool up and down and deliver pizza with me until nuts finish working and then um go and grab nuts like if a delivery is in an around our workplace i'll go i'll drop it off i'll grab nuts nuts dead up on the road with me up and down <laughs> oh my gosh nuts is there on the road with me up and down i deliver pizza and stuff like that and you know we just we just never give up guys we just kept pushing and i remember like many many snowstorms guys i'm not even exaggerating many many snowstorms um we had to be there out there like legit pushing it um sometimes in minus 40 minus 35 we're out there delivering pizza and when i say we are out there is because many nights nuts is out there with me like just sitting in the car um with malika in the back seat sometimes i run into the store while they're in the parking lot in the car still running the car go to the address and think guys it was just a it was just an experience guys it was just an experience and it taught me a lot. It taught me to be to be grateful um, of of my job uh, in terms of now being a full time banker. It taught me to be grateful for that. But you know what I would like to say, guys? Many persons who are here delivering pizza is making a lot more money than many persons who are even working in the office because like you like you do get good pay. Like delivery job is like a very good way to make additional income or even your main income here in Canada because 
you have so many delivery um businesses that 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 it's a big business in north america so if it is that you are wondering what you can do and stuff like that you can probably try and consider taking some shifts delivering some shifts rather through some i'm not gonna call in company because of course no free endorsement over here but you have a lot of companies that you can look into that can definitely give you that additional income the only thing that you have to factor in is the fact that you have to have your own vehicle you have to provide um your own like gas and stuff like that and also if it is that you're in an accident you have to like cover your own expenses outside of like your own insurance and stuff like that right and yeah it was just a vibe guys it was just a vibe in terms of um working in a fast food restaurant and stuff like leaving the bank in the day in the evening i'm like just having on my 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 pizza pizza shop uniform and they're just doing cashier work sometimes right now i'm a professional pizza man i know to cut pizza like when you're going to order pizza and see persons and everything and then cut it back up quick and fast yeah i can do all of that um i can i can make pizza i'm not like as good as many persons who have been working in it in the business for 20 odd years like i was so surprised that when i met some persons in the same store that i was working they were there like for 20 years i'm like really and i'm like those persons are so prof um professional in their jobs though like they can like close their eye and make a pizza like from scratch like and i'm telling you i didn't get there that like i wasn't that professional in terms of making pizza so i would never even attempt it but like in in cutting unboxing and stuff like that i was i was good at that so i, I had to do that as well and then we had to be cleaning we had to be falling box and it's one of those jobs that we were always on our feet in terms of um when sometimes the store is so slow and there's no delivery you have to be there you have to be in store you have to be in store and you have to be finding things to do you have to be cleaning even stuff that you have to be washing the walls you have to yo it was just a vibe guys yeah so i just wanted to share that story time with you guys so that um you guys not only look at us as persons who were fortunate or privileged enough to get a job in a very good field but also look at us as real people who had to do real things to survive we did videos where we talk about not having uh, to be a janitor Nats was a janitor at a couple of businesses she was a housekeeper um she was a factory worker like we just had to do a random uh, like a number of different things in order to like get our foot in and then gradually as we are here longer and longer and longer then we started to progress and we started to you know matriculate into other things it wasn't always rosy it never always pretty it definitely never always it definitely never always rosy at all and and in spite of all that guys we keep pushing we keep believing and we never once give up we never once give up because we were like yeah we have to continue doing oh yeah i should say this as well guys in the store i was just one of two black persons in the entire store everybody else was either caucasian indian or filipino and what i realized is that the the, the filipinos usually side with the caucasian and the indians usually side with them as well so so the, so the black persons are usually by ourselves so we usually get a lot of fight like persons used, used to like compete to do over delivery and stuff like that and all sort of argument and it's crazy guys so you have to be mindful of that as well because many not everybody was an immigrant remember that they are an immigrant so that let me remind let me repeat that again not everybody who's an immigrant <laughs> remember that they are an immigrant so um it's very tricky guys so you have to just stay in the alien and do your thing and keep focus and keep believing and know say yo at the end of the day everything i'm gonna work out for you and your family anyways guys that was just a quick story time for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed of course another video if you haven't subscribed already guys i'd appreciate it right now if you just go ahead and hit that little red burgundy button right down there i think it's bottom right yeah definitely hit on that button if it is that you want you can hit on that blue button right beside the subscribe button which allows you to join our channel guys and become an official member be our first channel member we have not received any membership for on our channel as yet you you can be that person right definitely guys also check out all the links in the video description see different ways where you can support us we greatly appreciate it guys and of course if there's anything at all you guys want us to talk about in terms of our experience here in canada make no hesitation in definitely leaving a comment and let us know and we'll definitely try and see how best we can answer that question 
And of course, guys, check out our Instagram. We try to respond to all comments and all messages as best as possible. Sometimes they take a little bit of time, but we always get to it. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Take care of your mental health. Until the next video, bye. Dems is out. <laughs>